hi what is the dividend concord technique the dividend concord technique in the sense we will take the problem with this n number of elements then we will break that original size into two partitions n by 2 and n by 2 size this n by 2 again we will divide it by n by 4 and n by 4 then we will solve this each partition separately uh, like this then we will combine that L, uh, solution of each subpartition uh, and add it with the uh, previous step to get the solution for original problem so that is coming under the combi combining so div dividing the, the original problem into small partitions then solve the smaller partitions then finally we will uh, combine all the solutions to get the solution for original problem this can be uh, uh, solved by using the recurrence relation to find out the time complexity here uh, whenever we are having the array size is 1 we can have t of 1 times of uh, time uh, unit for uh, execution if uh, array is having greater than one element then it we can use the function a times of t of n by b this is the number of uh, sub uh, partitions then this is uh, here uh, the each sub partition size and here the f of n which is the function here always a and b are positive constants t of 1 is the initial condition that is already we known uh, value then we have to calculate the n uh, b power k that will be equivalent to the uh, n right so now based upon that we will apply the uh, uh, dividend concord uh, approach into the binary search to find out the particular element which, which is available in the given array or not. So here uh, based upon that binary search is given here by using the recursive uh, technique. First we are checking uh, the index value. So index value is here 0. This one is the high index value 9. So now we are checking 0 or greater than 9 yes it is true so 0 greater than 9 it is true when it is true right it will uh, uh, 0 greater than 9 it is false actually okay it is false 0 greater than 9 so it will uh, not execute this statement it will come into the next portion it is find out the low plus high low is 0 plus 9 so now you are getting the 4.5 so floor value you have to take now you are getting the value is 4 so 4 is the middle element now so middle element index is now 4 okay so this is the middle index now what we are checking x equal to a for example i am going to check the value 10 value 10 which is available or not okay so in the array so 10 equal to uh, a of middle a of middle is here index value is 4 a of middle is here 7 so 10 equal to 7 which is false if it is false this will not execute else if statement x less than a of middle here x is 10 less than uh, a of middle is 7 which is also again false once it is false then this is also will not execute this portion will come now again we are calling binary search of uh, middle plus 1 what is the middle index here here which is uh, seven, uh, 4 so 4 plus 1 is here 5 comma high index is 9 then what is the searching value searching value is here 10 so 10 already we have passed here 10 is the searching value right so again we are applying the recursive call which is calling now back then now you look at that we are passing low index this is the 5 so 5 is the low index high index is the 9 searching element is 10 in the first recursive call again we are checking in this place 9 uh, sorry 5 uh, 5 is the low index greater than 9 yes it is uh, false once it is false it will not execute then middle element we are going to calculate so middle element here is 5 plus 9 uh, divided by 2 which is uh, 5 plus 9 14 divided by 2 7 7 is the uh, middle index so 7 is the middle index now right now we are checking x equal to a x is 10 equal to a of middle a of middle is value 10 yes we have got which is true if it is true returning the middle value returning the middle value so now we found the uh, searching element 10 in the given array so from this what you should observe 
always your searching element will be available in the middle index if it is existing in the array if your element is existing in the array then it will be find out by using the variable middle that is the middle index okay then how many times this uh, partitions are executing okay you look at that first we are calling once it is true once it is true only it will execute okay once this uh, once this is true only it will execute otherwise it will not execute so this is constant amount of time here this is calculating for again constant amount of time okay any number of time partitions partitioning right then if it is true only this will execute this is also again constant amount of time if it is not true right it will come to the false block so th yeah, this also will execute constant amount of time then this will be executing only if it is true okay otherwise it will come to the next portion this is also executing by one whenever it is this condition is becoming false so uh, here you look at that we are dividing the partition we are dividing the array into partition okay so when you are dividing so for example we here we got middle element is this one so we are dividing n by 2 right the original problem is divided by n by 2 so this will take n by 2 amount of time this will take n by 2 amount of time so any one partition only will consider either this one or this one whenever it is true this portion will be considered whenever it is false this portion will be considered so any one of the partition only will be considered for searching the given element not both 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 partition right based upon the given value so either right side of the middle index will be considered or left side of the middle index will be considered so we can say this n by 2 then here we are having the constant amount of time so any number of constants four times of constant it can be considered as a here for uh, c only considered as a c so now we can uh, pr uh, we can conclude that t of n equal to number of uh, times okay only t of n by 2 either this portion right side or left side okay so t of n by 2 plus c so this is the recurrence relation for the binary search now from this recurrence relation we have to identify what is the time complexity of the binary search so this is uh, on one more example here we are identifying the value 51 uh, 51 is here uh, identifying based upon the middle index value is 20 so 51 is greater than 20 so we will ignore this uh, left side of the middle index we will take the right side of the middle index then this is this n by 2 only consider this n by 2 is omitted now right then from this we are, again we are calculating the middle index which is the 41 then here we are uh, checking the given element 51 is available or not so this uh, half side is omitted so this is n by 4 so this n by 4 is considered now then uh, from this again we are uh, checking the middle element so middle element is the 51 so now we found the value so you look at that either one of the part partition is considered either left side or right side okay so based upon that here our recurrence relation is t of n equal to t of n by 2 plus c then we are breaking that uh, n into n by 2 by replacing the n by 2 in the place of n then you look at that here you have to substitute t of n by 2 so when you are substituting t of n by 2 equal to t of n by 2 here by 2 plus c okay so we will get t of n by 4 uh, plus c this is t of n by 2 so you uh, substitute this value into the equation number 1 so t of n by 4 plus c this this term then this c this c is this one okay so now we got a t, t of n by 4 that can be written as a 2 square plus 2 c you observe some pattern here you got 2 power uh, 2 power 2 plus 2 power c for the next step 2 power 3 plus 3 c so when you are repeating this for k number of times that means you will keep on do this a partition okay until find out until completion of the 
uh, array right until completion of the array so you will keep on do this until you find out the t of 1 okay one element right one element so here only single partition will be considered so here k times this is for k times so um, when will you get the t of 1 so whenever you are substituting the here in the in the place of in this context when you are substituting the n equal to 2 power k then you will get t of 2 power k divided by 2 power k you will get t of 1 this is what we are expecting t of 1 so now you are substituting this n equal to 2 power k then t of 2 power k divided by 2 power k uh, plus k times of c then you will get the t of 1 so now uh, you you substitute these values here uh, into this equation right in this uh, equation so when you are substituting this so here n equal to 2 power k if n equal to 2 power k you are applying the logarithmic in the both side when you are applying the logarithmic in both side you will get log n you will get log n base to equal to log uh, base to 2 power k okay so from this 2 power k you will get log uh, uh, base to n equal to k times of log 2 power 2 so here finally you will get log 2 power n equal to k so k value is now log base to uh, n okay so now you substitute this values into this equation here what is the equation final equation we got uh, here t of 1 from this plus k times of c okay so here we have got the t of 1 k times of c now you substitute the values t of 1 equal to here 1 t of 1 equal to 1 so when you are substituting this t of 1 equal to 1 then uh, here here uh, t of 1 equal to 1 plus k what is the k value log n okay log n base 2 into c so here the lower order term uh, one can be ignored then uh, c constant i mean this is the coefficient of the log n we, we can ignore so finally we are getting the log n so time complexity for this is log n right so this is the time complexity for the binary search so this is another one thing here we are applying the master theorem in this one is master theorem we are applying so here a is 1 b is 2 here f of n is not available so d equal to 0 okay d equal to 0 so based upon that when you are applying this you will get this time complexity this this one is uh, with respect to master theorem the previous we have uh, derived that is based upon the substitution method that is based upon the substitution method this one is based upon the master theorem thanks for watching